I've spoken quite a bit about how I think um, social media has changed the teaching moment um, for management education. But I haven't really spoken about what really keeps me up at night. Uh, and that's how social media is going to change management education as a product. Uh, I said a little bit earlier that I do see my students as customers, so then it makes sense for me to talk about my lectures or my cases or you know, my courses as products, uh, as, 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 a, you know, as a portfolio of products even for, for one course. Um, and so I, I really, um, I'm really faced with trying to figure out, I mean this really is the thing that excites me. So when I say it keeps me up at night, it keeps me up because I'm excited and thinking how the on-demand aspect of social media, of Web 2.0, right? the on-demand factor is going to have to become the, the, I mean, the real way that a management education as a product is delivered. Right? I mean, I think that that really is the future, and I think that future is closer than people think. Uh, I had this conversation the other day uh, with you know, why I think executive education has become such a great cash cow for management schools of all sorts. Uh, and it's because of the flexibility of the program, the customizing of the program, the idea that uh, faculty can strap together, you know, well, well, the idea that one, a corporation would decide what they want uh, a particular set of their managers or their leaders to know. A business school can then engage them, craft the product, strap some faculty together, and either send the faculty to the corporation, you know, that maybe they'll have some corporate learning center, or literally ship them in for a long weekend in Charlottesville or uh, Durham, North Carolina, or wherever, wherever the school is located, and give them kind of a, a really intense two or three day experience where they don't have to quit their job, where the, where the, ca where the cash output is very different than a full-time two-year commitment. Um, so the flex flexibility is what people want. Right? I think it's going to be a tougher and tougher sell to get people to give up $110,000 in tuition. Um, the huge opportunity cost of not getting paid during that time. And then whatever it costs for them to live. I mean, many times your standard MBA program, that's a, that's a quarter of a million dollar investment. I think that sell might be harder and harder. Uh, and I think that, not that people won't spend the money if they believe the man management education can add the value, but what, they're, what they will be paying for as customers will be to have the management education on their terms. And that's the on-demand aspect here. right? So there's lots of technologies out uh, that I'm really excited with that allow you to embed videos that do use the blogs to build communities. Uh, there's different ways that you can build social groups and social networking and make sure, one, that they're not just talking, that the students aren't just talking to the professor, but of course that they're talking to each other because that's the real uh, that's the real quantum leap of social media, right? that you can build communities and that, the, and that it's not always just a single point to single point dyad of communication. Um, and so I'm looking at all the different ways that one can maintain the academic rigor right, while being able to meet the consumer where they are. Right? And I think that that's really the power here. And so people may have poo-pooed on uh, things like a University of Phoenix model, like kind of an online model, uh, or, or poo-poo some of these for-profit universities that a few years ago were figuring out that we have to think strategically uh, and innovatively about how we offer the kind of education that our, that our customers want, right? customers that are not going to quit their job and that are looking to augment their professional skills, not change careers. Uh, but I actually think that uh, sooner, sooner rather than later, uh, and I think particularly in executive education programs, but that this is a threat I think for the traditional MBA, is that management education on demand is going to be, that's going to be the key. Ten years from now, that's what's going to be going on. And I also think that this is something that will help to globalize many universities, at, uh, many graduate business schools that aren't globalized yet. Right? Because if the constraint is still with space, you have to come here and sit in this class at a, a particular time every Tuesday and Thursday. If that's the constraint on the customer, then that certainly narrows your demographic. Right? But what we're talking about now is getting products out there that can be delivered right? While that, that 
minutes of me teaching that are being delivered and deployed while I'm sleeping. Right? That that's that's really kind of now this for for the management world, this is old hat, right? But I think for education, uh, we have to we have to we have the technologies now to really enrich the on demand on demand online experience. Right? We do have those technologies now. It, it, you know, and I think it takes great professors that do have their PhDs, that do have experience in the industries, that do have significant networks within industry to really deliver a high quality product, right? So I think that that will stay the same. I mean, business schools will still have to be substantial uh, in their intellectual and, and, and uh, academic purview, right? Uh, but those exact same places are going to have to get with it a little bit. Right? And I'm hoping to be a leader in that uh, in whatever business school that I, that I ultimately affiliate with uh, post-PhD. Uh, so I think that that's, that's the real challenge. I think that's a huge opportunity. And I think that the professors that are thinking about that now are going to be the ones uh, that will be setting the model, uh, and a model that's going to be used around the globe, right? I mean, if you just think of the demand for management education, for American-trained scholars providing management education in Asia right now, uh, this is the way to get it done, right? This is the way to hit a 1,000 downloads on your particular uh, social media-driven uh, lecture product or case product. Right, this is the way to get that done. Uh, and frankly, I do think that that will be the norm uh, in the near future.